Today I want to talk about the problems I see a lot of guys like ourselves facing on a daily basis when it comes to their training. The basic movement pattern is the human body. Push, pull, squat, hands, carry and then cardio. Yes, there's rotation and there's lunging and then there's got the push, pull and the vertical and horizontal access. But for the majority of part, it's push, pull, squat, hands, carry and some cardio. When you say push, pull, squat, hands, carry, that's the movement. Most people's exercises be the bench press or shoulder press, pull up with a bent over row, the barbell back squat, the deadlift, the farmer's walk, and running. That would be the average guy's 40s idea what he should be doing when it comes to training. The problem is, with a lot of these exercises, and a lot of guys who are training, they're just not in the right position, or they've got too many mobility problems, or they've got injuries, that these exercises can exasperate. In the four years I've been running primal, targeting men in the 40s, I have noticed through experience and knowledge and just trial and error, that there are definitely exercises that are better suited to guys our age. And the other thing is, just because you're not doing the stereotypical exercises you think you should do in the gym, you are going to build muscle, you are going to lose fat, and you are going to look better. It really is that simple. It's just a case of swallowing the ego and trusting the process. For bench press, push up or dumbbell bench press. Why? Well, a barbell is in a fixed position. That means that you can't move your hands around you're in a fixed position and if that pathway is where the damage is being created then all you're going to do is make the damage worse with dumbbells you're able to move your hands change the angle of the elbow from then relation to the ribs and that's going to allow you to have more freedom to move the bell the path is not causing pain the one that i recommend for everyone though guys don't seem to want to do it is the push-up which in my opinion is the exercise that all men should be doing it should be the foundation for pushing movements why because there's so many variables it doesn't matter how big you are how strong you are there is going to be a hand pace which you can find that is going to make the exercise challenging and enlist the growth that you're looking for. In the pull up and the bend over row, well, pull up, a lot of guys don't have the strength, a lot of guys are too heavy and hanging off a bar alone cause shoulder issues. The bend over row, sitting desk all day, you bend over, you haven't got the core stability to hold the weight here, and next time you get lower back pain. Very simple, that pull down machine works well and it replicates the pull up and allows you to train towards the pull up in a way that's uh, not as damaging on the, on the body. And then inverted rows, either on a barbell or a suspension trainer, you're pulling your body weight. The angle you create is going to determine the difficulty. A lot more forgiving on the back. The barbell back squat, I see this bunch of all the time. Guys come in, they put a barbell on their back and the squats or knees are caving in. They're doing half reps. They haven't got the mobility and stability to move the weight properly, but they struggle through it. And all they're doing is getting themselves better at doing an exercise badly. Goblet squat or the front squat. The goblet squat is my go-to movement for most guys even body weight squat but if i'm going to load a movement the goblet squat is the first one i go to when they've got that then i can go to the kettlebell front squat the barbell front squat or split squat I forgot to write that one up the hinge the deadlift the big movement everyone loves the deadlift but a lot of guys put their back at risk a lot of guys aren't capable of doing it so go back swings hip thrusts you should get this one in if you want to really want to do deadlifts the hex bar deadlift is one of the best ones you can do for guys in their 40s. The difference is bar is set in front of you, puts pressure on the lower back. When the weight is centered, it's a lot safer in the lower back. Also, you'll find hex bars, most of them have this handle that raises up a bit, which means the hinge isn't as severe, and that allows you to do a safer hinge. Carries, farmer walk, great exercise, nothing wrong with it actually, but you'll find guys who are overweight, untrained, they've got core issues, the stability issue in the core. The suitcase carry, just basically a single sided loaded exercise as opposed to Double, it means that you're going to require more stability in the movement to counteract the imbalance between sides. So that's going to activate your core a lot harder. And then for cardio, most guys do run because it's what we've done as footballers, we've done as Gaelic players, rugby players in our 20s. In the 80s, running was the exercise. But now we've got bikes, rowers, skiers, swimming, and you've got the best one of all, walk. If you're looking to lose fat, if you're looking to increase your fitness, walk. It is the best exercise you can do. We're nomadic creatures. That's where we evolve following the herds. Walking is in our DNA. If you're not walking every day, that's your starting point. So the problem is for all this, where you're at versus where you think you're at, your ego. So when you walk in the gym and you haven't trained in 10 years or you've sporadically trained over the last decade or so, you're gonna think you're still that 20 year old and you're not. And you're gonna train like that 20 year old and your body can't handle it and you end up injured. You end up hitting yourself, there's no point in doing this, and you quit, there's an easier way to do things. What does it result in? It results in injuries, lack of motivation, looking and feeling like you do now. So everything, how you feel, how you look, is all down to the actions you're taking, and when you 
Start the gym, you don't do it right, you just do it the way you've always done, and you get the same things over and over again. And that's making you lose motivation and quit too easy. The solution, invest in quality coaching. Now, I know a lot of people are thinking, I'm not paying that money, there's no way I'm paying that. I just do, wouldn't you see it, blah, blah, blah. The reality is, you're paying that money. You're paying that money and keeping your body the way it is today. You're paying it through the shite food you're eating, the beer you're drinking, the excuses to go away on weekends with the guys to get blocked. You're spending this money on things that aren't helping you. In fact, you're spending the money on the things that are causing you to feel the way you're feeling. So why the resistance? You're not sacrificing anything. You're giving up a few beers, you're giving up crappy food to feel better about yourself, to look better, to improve your life. And all you gotta do is follow the instructions and trust the process. We have had hundreds, and I mean literally hundreds of guys through this door in four years, and the lives we've changed are phenomenal. And I know it can change yours. All it requires is for you to trust the process and get involved. If you're interested, get in contact, click the link, send your details, and we'll speak to you soon.